Hey guys, it's Willow and welcome or welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a long time since I've done a video. I think my last one was like a month ago and I'll explain why in a bit. But for today's video, I'm going to be doing the line art and colouring for the sketch that I did off camera of a girl wearing some traditional Indian clothes. And I also decided to make the most of the gorgeous weather and film outside, which is why my setup's a bit different. So if you notice any random bugs flying on my page, that's why. I'm a bit rusty with these voiceovers, so I have a feeling this one's gonna take some time to edit. But that's all right because I have a lot more time on my hands now than I did like a month ago because I had some school exams recently, which is why I haven't been able to post much or draw much. And also prior to that, I was in kind of an art block which is why i am still on like page seven of my sketch but now that my exams are over i should be able to spend loads more time drawing and making videos so in like maybe three weeks i'd say i'll be able to get back into posting once a week at least and maybe even twice some weeks because i'll have lots of free time but i'm not making any promises because who knows what's gonna happen i'm just gonna go with the flow and if i have any extra time some weeks I might just make some reserve videos because I found that the YouTube algorithm doesn't really like it if you don't follow your posting schedule, even if you like post two times the next week. So yeah, I'll probably just end up making lots of backup videos. I mean, I already have two other videos which I filmed but not edited and one of them is like an art supply haul, so I still need to do that. I've like filmed me introducing all of the stuff, but not actually trying it out, so I haven't used any of the stuff I got in that video, even though it was ages ago. So that's my real first try reaction. But the Faber-Castell Pit Artist pens I was using at the start of this video for the line art, um, those were part of the haul, and I was supposed to have not used them, but I just decided to use them for the first time in this video because I thought black line art would have been a bit too harsh. I actually did the sketch of this drawing ages ago as well, probably back when I was editing the spring draw with me, which is kind of crazy because it's summer now basically. But as soon as I'd done the sketch, I really liked it. So I decided I was going to do it in a video. So I just left it be and decided to come back to it. But I didn't actually end up doing any drawings after that anyway. So that's that. I'm really trying to avoid saying so yeah because that's what I always use at the end of whatever I'm talking about to make it sound complete. So yeah. So for the design of her clothes, I was inspired by a couple of pictures that I found on Pinterest. I think I was looking at this one when I was doing the sketch. And then as I said, when I coloured it in, it was a long time afterwards. So I didn't have the same picture and I wasn't looking at any references. So I was just choosing the colours as I went along and making kind of my own original design. I decided to go for a more pastel colour scheme, but I didn't want it to just be one colour. So I started with blue and white for the top and then I made it blend into green. And as you'll see later, I also add in some pink and yellow. Okay, so this is really off topic, but I was thinking of doing some fan art in the future. So let me know in the comments if you have any requests for characters that you'd like me to draw. I'm probably only gonna pick ones that I know because I'll probably have more fun doing them if I do know who they are. And I probably will end up doing some Harry Potter fan art because if you live in the UK, you might know that they've like released all of the movies on Netflix. So it's kind of re-sparked my obsession. Although I am a massive fan of the books, the movies also have like a magical vibe to them. So I'm probably gonna do a fan art page to honor the series. But yeah, give me any suggestions on who you'd like to see me draw in my art style. Another thing is I know it's mermaid right now and I was actually really looking forward to Mermaid and I was planning on following the schedule and all that because it's basically just designing characters with prompts that are already given to you and you don't have to draw legs so that's always a plus but I didn't really have any time to do that so I haven't done any Mermaid Sadly. drawings but I may like do a comeback in the last week of May and maybe draw seven, but we'll see. Hopefully I'll be able to draw some mermaids in May. 
if I do end up doing any, I'll probably just post them as YouTube Shorts. And I'm looking at the prompt list right now, and Jewel and Barbie are like really good prompts, and I'd really love to make a design based on those words, so hopefully I'll get time to do both of those. Something I really want to work on with my art is definitely poses and anatomy. The posing is usually like the weakest part of my drawings and the bit I struggle with the most. I think I might start keeping a second sketchbook to do some loose anatomy gesture drawings in because warming up before you draw is apparently really beneficial. So I'm gonna try it out and then I'll let you know how it goes. So here I was pretty much done with the main colouring and I decided to move on to the background. For the background I went with um, a plain yellow background and then I decided to add these orange streaks in the background and kind of turn it into a sunset scene. Obviously not super realistic but that's kind of the vibe I was going for. I was kind of indecisive about this though because I still wanted the characters to stand out. And here I decided to switch it up a little bit and film some closer up angles of me adding some highlights. So let me know if you like this new way of filming. It was kind of difficult because I had to film with my left hand while I drew. So I wasn't looking at the actual drawing while I was adding highlights. I was looking at the screen through the camera. So that was a bit difficult, but I think it was all right just for adding highlights. I wouldn't be able to consistently do it though, obviously. And I just added loads of highlights to make her clothes really sparkly. And I know I always say the highlights really made the drawing come together, but in this case, it definitely did. It was like the most magical moment. As you can see, the sun was also having its moment. So my apologies if this footage is blinding you. Then I added some finishing details like a border around the drawing and here is the final result. I'm not 100% keen on the border I added. I was being really indecisive once again. I wasn't sure if I wanted to do a white border or a coloured one or none at all and I think this kind of just adds a bit too much going on so I may go back in the future and sort of blend out the yellow with a coloured pencil to make it more gradual. That is the finished drawing and Thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you next time. Bye!